Come on up. Come up, Mr. Uh, Terrell. You are his parents, William Tyrell. Step his dad. Oh, sorry. And this is his mom, Rosanna Tyrell. Are you familiar with what he did today? We're familiar with what they said. We we don't agree that that's right. Um, we also agree that he. Uh, uh, he's, he's being held accountable for things that aren't really applicable in this case. You know, and, and, and he's, 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 I'm asking him not to use drugs or alcohol. I know, I know. That's all I'm asking him to do. Mm -hmm. And he's constantly testing positive, and now he's taking a whizinator into the into the room. Well, I, I, it's wrong. So we don't want he can be charged criminally for that. That's an offense in and of itself. Falsifying your drug test, it's a class B misdemeanor. You're facing another six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. What about, I mean, our, our concern and his concern is so simple. This girl. I'm not, no, we're, Sir, we're not even, we're not talking about the case. We're the, talking. What is the case? No, we're talking about the ability to remain clean and sober. First and foremost, we're not even talking about the case at this point. We're only talking about remaining clean and sober. He's repeatedly been unable to do that. And now he's trying to fool us. Well, he's, he has a, he has an issue that we know. May I say something wrong? I think no, I, what needs to happen is I think the first thing you need to do is you need to talk to your lawyer before you make any statements. Yes, sir. The only thing I'm going to say that is that I'm extremely upset, disappointed, and take you into custody. You know, you, you've repeatedly failed to appear for court. You've repeatedly tested positive for, for a lot of substances. And now you're trying to fool us yet again. It's unacceptable. And there has to be accountability. And you need to accept that, that you can't continue to do what you're doing. Mr. Terrell, you're digging yourself into a hole that you cannot crawl out of. This monkey on your back will be there for the rest of your life. And if you don't get out of it now, you're going to be 70 years old with the continual on your back in and out of custody. You're so messed up right now. You can barely open your eyes, man. Your, uh, your honor. Uh, and I don't know if you're enabling it or you're closing your eyes because of the love that you have as a father, but is he has severe ADHD and, and severe Tourette's syndrome. And we put him in, in a recovery center and we told them, we sent him the documentation. They told us every day they were getting the medication they ever did. Never did until they finally refused to answer my phone calls because I kept calling him up what he needs to be on. I said, this ADHD medicine robs him of his, of his, 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 uh, His chemicals and his dopamine chemicals in his brain. And he goes, he uses drugs to put them back. And I said, the Tourette's makes him not make good decisions. It's not a good combination. And they said, yes, that's the case in almost every many drug addicts with ADHD. And they wouldn't fix it. Right. And so we I got pretty upset with him because he got out and he had a pill bottle that he got the day he got out. They had never given him any pills the entire time he was there for his for these things. So I agree that it's a bad problem and a wrong problem, but I also agree it's not entirely his fault because he's got a chemical imbalance that nobody is addressing and never has. He's had this since he was a young child. They've addressed his Tourette's, mm -hmm. but they've never addressed the ADHD. And I didn't know until I spoke to a doctor a week ago or a couple of weeks ago when he, before he went into the rehab and, and the doctor said, they said, so he's, 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 he's got, uh, he's got, um, um, uh, he said he's got uh, ADHD. And I said, yeah. And he says, does he have a problem with drugs? And I said, yeah, and he goes, why isn't he on, on Ritalin? And I go, what do you mean? He says, that's what Ritalin is for. And if he was speaking apparently from personal experience, you know, so we tried to get him on Ritalin. They wouldn't do that because he, it's a substance itself. And they said that he could be abusing that substance. So we tried to get him on a secondary substance that's not abusive. Ah, we, we have fought for weeks, months, and we can't. We finally got him a prescription just as he's now out and back in trouble. 
So I, I only beg that we don't want to buy drugs, right? But we understand that maybe there's some underlying compassionate issues, right? And and uh, and uh, I mean, I, 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 I'd like to be this uh, in, but that doesn't work. Anymore. And I, I it it pains me because I think that as a father and as a mother, due to love, a lot of times. You know, and and I don't know necessarily you, but people tend to kind of shut their eyes no. and become naive to the fact that they're using, you know, and I'm not talking about marijuana. I'm talking about cocaine. I'm talking about meth. Be careless. He's got a license for marijuana. So, so no regardless, care. regardless. Any, any heavy drugs or cocaine or anything that's going to cause him a lifelong problem? No, I want him off of that stuff. But he's been in rehab three or four times. That doesn't really work. So I don't know what does work. You gotta want it. Well, gotta want one it. of the main things is you gotta want it. But be that as it may, he he's fool, he's trying to fool us, and it's unacceptable. And there has to be accountability for it. I can't just let him go when you're using a wizenator to try to fool us. It's it's unacceptable, and there has to be accountability. And the problem is, is that. Um, I think that what we need to do now is have him evaluated by our clinicians to see how we go forward. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do is while he's in custody now, I can have it done in a very expedited manner. I can have it done within today's what Tuesday, we can hopefully have a report back by Friday to see at the latest Monday to see how we go forward. Our clinicians can talk to him and if he's honest, yeah. figure a, a a way to go about doing this and i'm going to tell you now while i have him here i can pay everything for you so you don't have to pay for a dime mm -hmm. if you're on the outside though i can't pay for it we can forward you doctor's records and things like that my my only concern and my the only thing i want now is our clinicians to be able to speak to them to see where we go forward mr mr terrell I'm gonna have you what's called TRAS to see, it's an evaluation to see where we go from here. If we get this TRAS back and it tells me that your little bunny's jumping in the woods and that there's no problems, then I know that you weren't honest and I'm gonna make you go do it right back again. And we're gonna to continue to do it until you're honest. But you know, you can lie to me, but you can't lie to yourself. You can't be like this forever. At some point, you're gonna be a habitual and you're looking at 25 to life. I thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience, but he, he, you don't have to. And I'm really, and I'm really, really, truly sorry. He that, did man up and come in. He was going to. We had to fight with him and beg with him. He, he, that, but he didn't to come in. He didn't want. Of to course, come. no one wants to go to jail. And and because uh, he said, I, I said he's not going to put you in jail. He goes, yes, he will. And I said, no, he has a heart. He's not going to put you in jail. He knows that you have a problem. The problem is an issue. Not, not. I mean, stopping the thing that's causing this is the issue. Is your last name Mr. Terrell? Yes. We've tried that. I gave him to you. But he didn't, we tried it. But like I said, the underlying cause, which we've only just recently found, or they found that it may be, they've never sentence. treated. I, I understand. Okay. And I so understand. he's untreated and still being treated like it's a normal case and it's not real. Mm -hmm. I tried. I've given him back to you guys. I've asked him repeatedly to stay sober and not use, and he continues to do so. No matter how many times I give him to you, it's going by something. It's going to continue, and you have to realize it. And if you think that just him saying, okay, I'm going to stop, or, or the Ritalin is going to make it stop. It has for many people. It, 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 it may have. It, and yes, it may have. How, so how long are you putting him in for? I don't know. For now, I would like to have him TRAS to see where they go. My feeling is that they're probably going to say that he needs inpatient rehab. Which he's already been to. Not in the jail. Yes, he has. You sentenced him to that last year. Why, Mac? I don't, I don't have, I don't have, we didn't put him in my Mac. 
Did we do one math yeah, lesson? They never actually treated the yeah, symptoms they, they, they So we have patients. we have other if WIMAC didn't work, we have other facilities that we can go to. And we will we've got at least three to four different facilities, and we can continue to put them into each facility until it takes. He has a this felony case that this case is associated with this next week. Yeah. Of which so we're hoping really the we're they, hoping the, gets thrown out of court. We have also um, facility as well to help treat as well. We we both do, and we both have facilities. They have more resources than we do mm -hmm. because there are more serious cases up there, so they have quite a bit of more resources. Um, it does look like you went to YMAC, but that's mainly to address like this attitude and thinking. Mm -hmm. Now, it was for drugs because it was on he was on probation yes. for drugs. That's why he was no no no. What she's saying is that. That he went to was supposed to address like this thinking, attitudes, and things. Um, so now we're going to assess him now that we know that he has mental health issues and as well as substance use problems. So that is one last time because of substance abuse. No, but she's saying no. She said no, but this time, okay. yes. Well, I think Judge they might be referring to the deferred was adjudicated based off of drug violations. He tested positive for many times for drugs. That's why his I think that that may be what they're referring to. Yeah, it was because he was on probation for drugs, <clears throat> and they 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 actually yeah put him in there. And then you know when he came, he, he couldn't even get his lawyer when he came to court. He got a court appointed lawyer when he had a lawyer who was paid for and twice. And uh, it was it's very frustrating to us that 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 he, he doesn't seem to be getting fair trade. You know, it doesn't, it, it seems like he's being held as an example and be given as an example and not being given fair treatment. And how is he not being given fair treatment? Well, Tell me. I, I, I just really wanted my wife is not going to be happy if I well, no, but it seems like you're blaming me for the situation, you know. No, sir, what we're trying to say that he never got that assessment for the mental issue, and they were told, they were told over and over again. I wrote they. The, the, the court officials, the, the, the probation officers, everyone was told that he had these issues and problems. They did nothing about it. Okay, his attorney brought paperwork to the court, Mike Monk. Yes, yeah, because we and, gave him the paperwork with no, the old... Um, nobody did anything about it. So, so we keep so, going, you guys keep blaming this stuff, but you, you, you just keep holding him up as an example and punishing him, and we never try to find out what's the problem. Put people in jail when they violate conditions, when they do something against the law. We don't willy nilly put people in jail for s and giggles. We, we don't do that here. So why is if there someone has a true problem, then we give them the opportunity to try to do things on their own. When it becomes evident that they're unable to, that's when we try to step in. I don't do this out of hate. Outside of, outside of. Of he, you know, we know that he has a problem, but outside of that, like he has a felony charge, they aren't giving these bond requirements, and this misdemeanor court is giving these bond requirements when the felony court is not. So, I can't tell you what the felony court, me, I want to make sure that he's not using alcohol or drugs. But it has nothing to do with this case. How do you know that? No, judge, there are facts in this case that do indicate that there were crack pipes recovered from the defendant, and that's most likely why. How do you know that he's charged with a felony assault? He's charged with interference with emergency request for assistance. How do you know that the drugs and alcohol that are using did not impact this? Because he was sound asleep. All right. And, and they, they, she, she stuck a machete through not, his TV. Not the she, Okay. I know we're no, not supposed to I talk mean, about it. I apologize. Look, it's, it just feels very I, wrong. I know that you see through the eyes of a loving father, and I'm not going to fault you for that. I get it. And I understand that. And I'm sorry. I really am. But I think that the best thing for him now is in a facility that he doesn't have access to drugs or alcohol. And I'm trying to do my best to keep him clean and sober. He tried to fool us now by using a whizinator. I, I, why he didn't want to come in yet. He would rather be run, you know, I mean, that's why he didn't want to come back. Okay, and you you can't run forever, Mr. Terrell. I know, I know. I tell so you. it's right. better to man up and get it done now than to run forever and do some irreparable damage by 
taking something that you kill yourself, mm -hmm. right? Because that's invariably what's going to happen. The dope that you're using, you're going to kill yourself. You can barely open his eyes, man. This boy, I'm, I'm listening to everything. Yeah. Saying, sir. <laughs> you're so high right now. You I'm can barely high, open man. your eyes. I'm not high at all. Actually, so, I'm sober. So, yeah. I mean, you can... I, I, at this point, I'm already in handcuffs, so it really doesn't fucking matter what I say. <laughs> no, he's not. I know we've been um, with him. Is, and and, and I'm going to so. ask you, just bear with me. I'm trying to do the best I can to keep him clean and sober so he doesn't pick up new cases. You haven't revoked his bond, is what he's asking. I'm yes, I'm revoking his bond. I'm setting it at 20,004 right now. You know? But if you bond out, if you bond him out, that's your choice. But I'm going to continue with the same things that I'm doing. And I'm now going to have him come twice a week to test with me. And the next time he tests positive, and I don't care what it is, the bond is going to end up even higher than it is. And at some point, we're going to address the issue. But I'm not going to continue to let you use drugs while you're out there in the free world. That's it. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to evaluate to see which one is the best one. You know, they have mental health caseloads. They have other. The first thing that needs to happen is we have to have him evaluate, speak to a clinician. They can tell him, us which the best path to go forward. They may say he needs intensive outpatient treatment. They may say he needs SADF, which is an inpatient facility. I don't know until we have him evaluated. But understand, I like your son. I want the best for him. I really, I really truly, and he doesn't get it. No, and, because we watch on TikTok him being in front of your court, you know, and then and, and we're going, I, what the heck is that doing on TikTok? You know? I live stream all our proceedings and that's what we do. So get adds transparency. So I, I'm going to have to excuse myself. I'm, 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 I'm not helping. I know. I, 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 it, look, you're not making us mad. And I understand how you feel. And I get the loving father. I would be in the same position as you. But I want to keep him clean and sober. That's the bottom line. I've tried to do it the other way. It's not happening. And he's fooling us. So the only recourse I have is this. So. Um, if we can set it to your as ASAP, hopefully we can have the report back by Friday at the latest Monday, they will tell us which is the correct course to go. Mm -hmm. And then we can all sit and talk and, and decide what to do. You know, at the end of the day, if you want me to just do nothing and, and I'd rather you, help him. you know, if you want me to let him go and just yeah. vent for himself, then it's on you. I'd but you be know this is that what you guys are doing now, it's not working. He's slowly killing himself as evidenced by his demeanor, the way he looks, he's killing himself slowly. And before long, he's going to really deteriorate. In, on, I've seen it happen all too much. All right. Hey. And Judge, before we end this conversation with this defendant, I've spoken at pretrial about the records that they have about the defendant and what he did today. I'd like to obtain those records and get those provided to defense counsel as well and provide that to felony. They are willing to provide that to me upon your oral consent to that. Okay. okay. Pre-trial, do you hear that? Okay, great. Thank you, Judge. So get him in more trouble. Okay. No one's in more trouble. I mean, do you not see what I'm trying to do? If we wanted to put him in more trouble, we charge him with additional offenses. Isn't that what he's trying to do? No, no. No one is, we're not here to punish and enslave and to, and to kill. We're here to help. And sometimes that may require this. Out there, it's not working. Do I have your word that it's not going to come back? I'm, no, I don't make the charging decisions. I'm not going to give you any kind of word. I'm going to give you my word that I'm going to try to help him as much as I can. But... I need your help with that as well. I need your help with that as well. <clears throat> look, I don't want, look, I don't want to make, I don't want to have any discussions until he was with, with the case, with anything as well. Hold on a second. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Just about giving the records to Mr. Haddad. Hold on a second. 
until he talks to his lawyer. I don't want, we shouldn't talk about the case at all. My only concern now is being clean and sober. That's, that's my only concern at this point. Okay. So we're going to take him back. We'll have him to your as soon as possible. Um, we can set it for Friday. Hopefully we can have the records back by then as far as what the thing is. And we'll go from there. Okay. Josh. Yasha. Yeah, when when can I when can I come back to follow up on this matter? Can uh, I come back so tomorrow? When when can we have him to rest? Monday because he has to be today. So video. I can see if somebody can come with the Um what day you say? I'm just trying to keep this stuff out of evidence so and so let's say we, we take him in now he gets processed today he's in pop tomorrow next tuesday if it's back sooner oh you mean for the report to be back mm -hmm. oh okay when i'm i'm talking the actual evaluation when do you think um, maybe wednesday Friday. Friday. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to try to have him evaluated as quick as possible. Um. Hopefully, we can have it done by Friday and the report back by Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Um. I'm going to put him back now. So Yasha, Yasha, if you'd like, we'll have you call the holdover so you can talk to Mr. Terrell now. Um. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Judge, um, I confirm what whatever uh, Mr. Terrell just said, you know, about the fact that he needs help. Um, he needs to use his medication. Um, I believe that if he does start using the medication, it will help his situation. Um, I don't think jail time or incarceration is the solution. I, I really, I really think that he needs help with his medication and some sort of rehab to to get out of the situation he is in right now. Um, I, I am actively working on both cases, the misdemeanor and the felony. Um, I have uh, provided some evidence to the felony prosecutors um, about about the situation, um, and I keep I'll, I'll keep checking back with them. Um, if every day, if I have to go every day, I will. Okay, uh, I, and I trust that you will, Yasha. But unfortunately, due to him bringing a whizinator into the drug testing room to try to you know fool us. It's unacceptable, and I'm I'm going to revoke his bond because of it. We're going to keep him. We'll try to have him, you know, TRAS as quick as possible to see what we how we go forward. Yes, and uh, um, let's and get him TRAS, and then I will look at the report, and I will discuss it with him and and his family. Okay. I, look, at a minimum, the TRAS will tell us which way they believe is the best course of action. I will leave it to you guys to decide whether you want to do it or not. If you don't want to do it, and if you just want to you know, let him out and fend for himself. It's up to you guys. I will offer my services to you for free. You. If you want it, it's available to you. If you don't want it, then then it's on you guys. Okay. You need to right. pills. I don't, let's not talk about everything now. That's just see for me. Judge, did you say? Did you say? Well, hold on. Yes. yes no, no, no. What? Yes, is you want everything? Is yes, it? Sir. Why do you want all that? So, I mean, Judge, that's to further charge. I mean, I'm not going to personally charge Judge, but I think that the state has a right to to know about this if he's violating bond conditions for our purposes. I don't know what it's going to be used for yet, but I think that the state and defense have a right to have this information, Judge. Mm. No, no, I'm not. No, I, I know. I don't think I don't want because I don't want to add further fuel to the fire and damage. You know, I don't think it's fair. I don't, you know, I don't judge. He's violating your conditions and, I, and he's and he's going in there now. I understand. But you don't think that the state has a right to this information? I don't know. Let me, let me look into it. Let me, let me, I'll get back to you on it. Yes, judge. I, I'm, I'll I get back to you. I respect the court. I defer to your judgment. I, I, I understand. I let me, I believe that. Let me talk about it and then I'll get back to you yes, judge. tomorrow. Okay. And we'll talk about it. You file a written motion. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Judge. Yes, Judge. Okay. Judge, do you want me to stop by tomorrow? Yes. Stop by and we'll talk about it as well. Okay.
Okay, okay. And I will contact uh, Mr. Terrell. Thank you. Okay. Page five. All right.